Hey guys, welcome to TGS and we're here with Nick Holt of Holtz Auctioneers and we've got one of his personal guns on the table. This is an 1860 Thomas Boss. We're gonna look over it and then we're gonna go shoot it. Scott was saying it didn't come in this condition. You've done it up a little bit, so they, it probably didn't look this good when you got it. No, 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 absolutely not. It, it, it's, of course, it's been living in Africa. Um, um, it was built in 1860, and it um, only came over here two or three years ago. So it was over there a long time with a family who it was bought and paid for back in 1860. Um, it was purposely built for or um, uh, shot and solid shot. So you've got one barrel was specifically for winged bird and the other barrel was for uh, uh, kudu, you know, whatever dangerous, you fancy, I suppose. Yeah, dangerous game, the girt Dan of buffalo, so, yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and um, so when you pick it up, it, it's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. um, and the and the reason why it's heavy is by comparison the, to its contemporaries, anyway. Obviously, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you'll see if you turn it over here, you've got a rifle sight. So that just so so that tells you mm -hmm. that it was originally built for um, and still is, sorry, uh, a ball and shot. So it's known as a ball and shot percussion gun, built in 1860. Fantastic. The wonderful thing about this is. Of course, it's made by Thomas Boss, one of our greatest gun makers. Um, also, the the family who originally had it made was so in awe of it that they actually put, they had their name and address engraved on the bottom rib. That's the first time I've ever seen that. It's, that's such a beautiful touch, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it sweet? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it says, um, well, I can't, you can probably read better than my eyesight's not so good. Captain the Honourable Ashley Ponsonby, Grenadier Guards. I guess it, it must have been, perhaps also it was in an armoury at some point, and you um, don't want someone else taking your gun. <laughs> well, there is that. For sure. There is that. Not when you've got a gun like that. There is that, there is that. There's an ownership I mean, you, statement you're going to want on it, maybe. Yeah, you'd be pretty, pretty kind of, yeah. Be you missed. wouldn't be very happy, would yeah, you? Yeah, no, not If so. somebody walked off with this. I mean, f you know, for me, being a historian and being a gunsmith, this is perfection. Yeah. And, and you shot uh, this for the last few years at Pheasants as well. Well, I, I kind of, I got, I remember, I don't want to be too arrogant, but I, I'm lucky enough, because I own Holtz and all we do is guns, I'm, I'm lucky enough to get quite a few invitations. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I shoot probably twice a week and um, I just, I, I got bored of breech loading. Yeah. I wanted to try muzzle loading. Yeah. Because you know that way, because I saw the young, the, the people who come along to shoot, they got their sons, and they would see me muzzle loading, and and they would just be fascinated how it worked. You know, what we're doing here, of course, is, is all we're doing is, is 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 building a cartridge. So you have your shots, and you have your powder, you have your wadding, you have your percussion cap, which you know you'll see later yeah. me shooting it. Um, uh, it it it's. Um, it's uh, yeah, just a. It's, it, I suppose it's a little bit like theatrical, because you know, it, it, and, and that, and you can imagine if you're a youngster of, of, of ten years old, they love all that smoke, smoke and power, and, and flash, and, and theatrical sounds, and <clears throat> and as a if if you know, it, it's it's uh, to sell this concept to the um, uh, politicians. Um, it is um, all about um, that great word learning. Mm. It's 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 it, um, and and being human nature. That's what we love. Yeah. We love to learn. Yeah. It. It's a less greedy gun as well. Is well. and I kind of like that. But the less greedy gun. Okay. Well, it was obviously built uh, handmade before any electricity or anything like that. It was built in 1861. So as we know, um, so handmade 100%. Um, 
it wasn't um, it was never built to like a, um, a semi-automatic um, a pump action yeah. shotgun where you can kill five you know five in the air five thousand seconds. You know, this this yeah. this was this you know you 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 take all that um, uh, uh, cleverness to yeah. to load it up um, and then it doesn't matter how many birds have gone over your head let's say you're lucky enough to be on a driven day, driven day shooting um, you, you 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 don't look up until you're ready Mm -hmm. and, to, uh, and then, my oh my, because it's taken so long to, 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 to build the shot with your powder and shot and, 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 and uh, percussion caps and all the stuff, you make sure that you make a good clean kill. And, um, and, and, so, and what, so you might shoot, let's say you might shoot three in the, in, in, on that drive, if you're really lucky. Well, never know, may have shot ten. Yeah. yeah. Um, it just brings it back. The, 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 the birds are put there by Mother Nature. They are, um, let's give them a bit of respect. Mm -hmm. And this, I feel, is your way of showing. Yeah, that. Um, yeah, exactly. We're, we're not. I really appreciate that. Well, we're not mass murderers, are we? No. That's not what we do it for. We do it because, because we, we, it's just, it's a day off work. Should we go shoot it? Why not? Go on. Good man, here here we are in Sandringham in a very breezy, cold uh, field. Um, what we have is uh, a double barreled um, uh, ball and shot percussion uh, gun which um, does shot and ball. So therefore you can shoot wing bird, also kudu, pig, so you've got a solid ball here and shot here. So it's different to the later shot and ball gun, the Paradox. So there's no, no this Paradox, this is just a straight thing. Uh, uh, They're uh, also referred to as the same, which is strange. Are they? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paradox is something slightly different. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to freeze if we don't get on with this. Yeah, of so, course. Sorry. So, so <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to just quickly... Uh, what I need to make sure first is that... Um, that the, these are called... These are called nipples, all right? So it is um, all a little bit sexual um, messing, messing around, but these are called nipples. We want to make sure that the tubes are clear. So what we do first, we snap off like this, and that just cleans all the mess. Um, so there's one, there's one, as you can see there, I've just snapped off. Now, we need, obviously, we need to put powder in first. So powder goes in first. So what we're doing really is making a, making a cartridge. That's what we're doing, making a cartridge. These are the wads, all right? Now. Obviously with this old gun, as I explained earlier, the ramrod, which is what I'm doing now, is steel. Because out in Africa, where this is from, it would have been, the termites would have destroyed it. Mm -hmm. So you've, you've got the powder in, you now need the shot. So what you do is a should. just to pour it in like that. If you can see him fall in now. There we go. Back up. So now we just put a little, little bit of whoops, wadding like that so that it doesn't fall out. And then you Ram it down again. 
It's just an experience level of how much to tamp it down. Yeah, you mustn't, um, I may have tapped it down a little bit too hard. Okay. You shouldn't really do that. Um, you should, um, uh, it's gotta be, the wadding's more important, just so you can, you can secure that pressure underneath um, Just the to get a full burn. Part. Exactly, exactly. And now she is almost ready to go. She is. All I need now to do is put the percussion cap. Oops. Oops. Do you find disadvantage in using sort of original gear as opposed to the modern equivalent? Hold that. Of course. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, just hold it there, mate. Hold it there. It is more it's pleasant good. because of it. It just means, you know, you've got the birds flying over your head or whatever. And, and as, I, as I've said to you before, I rather enjoy doing all this. And then when I'm ready, I look up. But I don't look up until I'm not ready, until I'm ready. And then, because it takes so long to do this, um, I actually try quite hard to, to make, a, make a good shot. Yeah. yeah. Now I've got these wonderful um, Scott um, other half pink headphones. Very uh, fetching. Uh, suit you, sir. Suit you. Yeah, suit you. There, we go. there we go. So here we go. Right. One, two, three. That's good fun, isn't it? For me, obviously being uh, once upon a time a gunsmith and being, um, being a historian, I suppose, mm -hmm. I, love, I love mucking around with the past, how it all happened. Um, this, of course, is muzzle loading, not breech loading like what we use now. Um, so therefore, you have to learn about the ballistics. How much powder, how much shot. So we'll just go and buy a slab of black gold and... Yeah, exactly, yeah. shove it in. You can't do that. So it's, it is, and it just means um, when I do it with my children, they find it so cool. Mm. And, they, then they, and they just start to ask me questions about how old the gun is. Uh, where was it, Daddy? Um, how much powder do you have to put in? It becomes about the ritual of hunting, not just the killing. skill of killing. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, and you know, so so. Um, you would recommend one of these to anybody to go pheasant shooting with? I would, yeah. Over yeah. and above a modern gun. Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. If this could talk, we would be slightly warmer. <laughs> in. In Africa, probably, I would have thought, um, just south of Zimbabwe, knowing where it came from. And um, we would be going, walking out there in about 1860, about 1860. Originally, and would you have had one barrel for shot and one barrel for ball and loaded them accordingly? I mean, I think it's probably yes, because you, because you didn't know what you were going to see. Out there. Yeah. yeah, you didn't know what you were going to see. If you're going to see a charging buffalo, you wanted a solid slug. Not an ounce but, of sixes. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes. As you can see... No, 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 no. As you can see, it has a, a V sight for, 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 so like a rifle, um, for the solid shot. So you've got the V sight for, let's say, the left arrow, which would have the solid, shot, solid ball in. Um, to give that buffalo a serious headache um, and then for your wing bird so it could be uh, Franklin exactly Franklin or, uh, or guinea file or something like that for the right barrel so that is that is it really I mean the, the, the final question yeah. is on accessibility is what can one set oneself up with 
I mean, you can. For I mean, a more basic than this, because this is a oh, luxury. This is, this is yeah, I know. This, 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 this is a Thomas Boss. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you no, know, no. You you can you can buy these. Not expensive. Um, oh, but fifteen hundred mark. Well, hold on. If, if if you can buy a antique, a proper one, not for that, but let's say five, six hundred pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. But um, that, and you can hang it on the wall. It doesn't need a license. But the minute you say to uh, the boys in blue that you would like to try it and you want to use it, then you've got to buy the black powder, the shot. And that is when you will need a license. You will need a license to buy the black powder, of course. Yeah. All right? So, um, um, and then this will have to be put on your shotgun certificate. Um, then you can... Um, I would suggest you go to somebody like somewhere like Bisley or something like that, or um, uh, and learn how to do what I've just done. Yeah. Um, it's not a game; it's something you, you need. Significantly more dangerous than buying you've a got to know what you do. Yeah, because yeah. you overload it, you're you're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. So, so um, as I say, but it's just it's just fun. Yeah. It's just fun, <laughs> and it's you know. And, it, it's a, it's a, and there's so much more to it. Um, and what I'm desperately trying to do is, is, is to try and stop people killing so much of Mother Nature's birds um, when, when in fact you don't need big, big bags, big bag days. You just need a, a few decent shots. Yeah. And of course, with something like this... <laughs> it spreads out your opportunities, Well, just a bit, because yeah. you know, you're not going to get many, are you? Mm. Because, because you've got to all do all this and all yep. the stuff. So, um, I mean, it, I mean, look at that. I mean, look at how, that's just a beautiful thing. Oh, like 100% really? handmade, of course. So every last thing has been made painstakingly with, your, with, their, with their hands. Um, um, you just, and, 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 and cannot be re reproduced. Fantastic, thank you very, very much. My pleasure, my pleasure.